I've seen a lot of things in my young life um, from first black president um, to 9-11 um, and other changes in this country that, that uh, I mean, I've seen this country go through a lot of attack as well, um, especially since uh, Donald Trump took office. And I don't think I've ever been more disgusted than what I've seen today with cowards of the MAGA, so-called MAGA. I, they're now a terrorist group to me. I, I, I classify them as a terrorist group. If MAGA is part, if you got the red cap on, I will treat you just like a terrorist. You are a terrorist. You are part of what makes this country disgusting and sick as much as anything else. Is the, the, the pandemic has killed over 100,000 of Americans. But nothing is more disgusting than sedition, treason, and rebellion against a country that has given us so many freedoms. I don't justify all the things the United States has done, but is it still my country to where I live and I'm able to worship and I'm able to defend my faith without open persecution of being beheaded, murdered, uh, drawn out in the streets and, and, and just brutalized. That gives me a, a, a great respect for this country. Uh, being American it, it is, a, is a source I'm appreciative for. I, I have an appreciation for being an American. I enjoy the freedoms that this country affords us even to those that seek to destroy it, they still have a right to speak their mind under the First Amendment. But what I've seen today has nothing to do with the First Amendment. It has everything to do to attack our Constitution and the American way of life. As the American church was, was, was pretty much exposed during, um, well, quite frankly, what's happening in this country right now from Donald Trump, the MAGA terrorists, uh, Franklin Graham, and many other pastors, John MacArthur, that, that advocated that we shouldn't trust our, the system of government that we have. Is it the best thing out there right now? Does it solve all of our problems? No, it doesn't. But it, it, by no means does that mean tear it down and destroy the very institutions that has guarded and has protected Americans since this country was founded. The founding fathers would be rolling over in their graves if they were proverbial, of course, if they were there. And I'm disgusted by it. And I'm pretty sure many others are disgusted by it. You know, the Fox and Friends and the Diamond and Silk and all these right-wing nut jobs painted and, and, and called the, the, you know, Antifa, and uh, Black, Black Lives Matter, the organization, and people that um, organized these riots that destroyed businesses. They called them thugs. But yet these men, and, he's, and, 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 I, and I'm, I, I'm scarce to call them men, more cowardly, these cowardly animals, the real thugs storm our capital to disrupt our Senate in a in a to what that was actually going to certify an election that was not only legitimate but was fair and true, with no allegations. All the allegations that was levied against it against this election, none no proof was ever given. But these MAGA terrorists, these maggots, these disgusting right wing maggots that Fox supported, Fox News supported, every, uh, what was that, Newsmax, Diamond and Silk, every single one of these enabling heathens is responsible for this. Donald Trump is absolutely responsible for what's happening in this country right now. He has fanned the flames of rebellion, sedition, and treason against his country and should be answered for it. There should be an answer for it. But if you've heard me preach and you know what I stand for in the Lord, you know, reading and understanding what the Bible 
what the Bible is and what, what, the God, what God means about his word is very critical. That should not apply to, 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 to how people could just override it, right? They just, they just, they would argue that it doesn't apply when it comes to politics. There should be a separation between church and state. Unfortunately, that's just not true. Christians have, do serve in the Senate. Christians do serve as politicians. They may not be as corrupt as they could be, but they are believers in Christ, and I know that they're there. And I know that they'd be outraged by what we witness today. Now, why did I bring up, like, why it's important to study God's word? And, and if you know me, that's exactly what I do day in and day out. I think it's important to examine something that it, it is part of our, our, us as Americans as well. And let's take a look at Code 18, Title Code 18, Chapter 115. Treason, sedition, and subversive activities. Rebellion or insurrection, advocating an overthrow of government, registration of certain organizations, activities affecting armed forces generally, activities affecting armed forces during war, Recruiting for service against United States, enlistment to serve against the United States. Here's 2381 under treason. Whoever owing allegiance to the United States levies war against them or adheres to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere is guilty of treason and shall suffer death or shall be imprisoned not less than five years and fined under the title but not less than 10,000 and shall be, shall be incapable of holding any office under the United States. Donald Trump has qualified in all these categories. He should be tried under treason, sedition, and promoting of this destroying of our constitution and our, this, this country's democracy. He should absolutely be held accountable for that. He, he's had an hour long plus conversation of trying to find a way to have elected officials that swore in office that they would defend this country with everything that they have. And he asked them to straight up lie and find a reason to overthrow the election, an election that was by the people. The people have spoken and he was advocating the, the just throw it out. Put me back in president because I deserve to be there and I do not respect this democracy. That's exactly what Donald Trump is saying. The MAGA maggots, the terrorists, are flat out exactly that. Terrorists should be tried under that same exact article, under Title 18 and under 2381 under treason. Donald Trump and many allies of his have, have given comfort to them by arming them with such propaganda and rhetoric as the election is rigged, uh, uh, he won, and, and it's okay to, to step up against and have the vice president stop a legal proceeding that is mainly for, as a formality at this point. And these maggots tries to destroy our democracy by... And I'm sure they're going to claim, try, they'll try to claim First Amendment. But to attack the Senate, praise God that nobody in our, in, in our elected officials were harmed. I know someone was injured in a gunshot. I'm praying for them, and I hope you all are praying today, too. I, I've never been this disgusted, this, this distraught and angry over these terrorist maggots that had their cowardly agenda flamed or inflamed by people like Donald Trump and his cowardly, maggot-infested allies. Trump supporters, maggots. Truly not American, anti-American as you can get. I've never seen a people hate a country more than these monsters. The true thugs, the true animals in this country are Donald Trump supporters. That, um, that's just the way it is. They're crazy lunatics and nut jobs that are willfully disobedient 
to our Constitution. They do not like democracy, and they hate this country. And they hate God more than anything else because they don't fear God at all. That's obvious when they went onto the Capitol Hill and they went to you know, the, the Senate and tried to disrupt it and, and do exactly the thing that a terrorist sought to do in 9-11, destroy this country, turn this country and, and, and spill evil into this country. And to have the world leaders disgusted because you, th we are the last bastion of hope in this world. I believe that. This country, as divisive as we can be, I do believe is still the best deal out there. And to have these monsters, these thugs, these cowardly men, and, and I'm scarcely, again, I, I can't even call them men, and whatever thing that they're calling women today in that group, all traitors and maggots, every single one of them. They're a sick dog. They're sick. They got rabies. They're biting everything and infecting anybody they can with nothing more than propaganda. These are the stupidest individuals you'll ever run across in your life. Eric, you're a pastor. You can't say these things. Yeah, yeah, I can. And, and I, I just forgive me for my anger. But it needs to be said. It needs to be said. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. If it has to get down to the point where we got to defend ourselves and defend this, this democracy that I love, that affords me the right to be able to speak my mind and not want to seek to harm anybody else. Yeah, I'm willing to fight for it. Absolutely, yeah. I'm willing to die for my Lord and Savior, absolutely. And I'll fight for this country with everything I am because I had to make that same pledge as every other citizen in this country. Immigrants ain't the problem. It's the homegrown terrorists Militias, proud boys, proud girls, all them useless, cowardly rats. Every single one of them. They're armed to the teeth because they're cowards. They're punks. And more importantly, they're terrorists against our country and this democracy. And they hate God. And the good news about that is they will all reap what they sow. For God is not mocked. Every man will reap what he sows. I'm asking everybody to pray for this nation, pray for this country that we all love. And, and pray God is merciful for these cowardly, quote unquote, men and women, part of the MAGA maggots. And pray for the, their families who are, it's not their fault they're related to these worms, these charlatans, these literal terrorists. And that's what they're going to be called from this point forward. Every MAGA red hat I see, that's a terrorist. And I'm going to point it out to them every day I see them, whether that's online or offline. When I go to my grocery store or not, when I see a hat, I make sure to let them know, hey, you're a maggot. You are a terrorist. You are supporting everything that this country, you're supporting everything against this country. Let me correct myself. You do, these people represent everything this country hates. And let God be merciful on your soul. Pray for this country. Pray for our nation. We definitely need prayer. We definitely need prayer. I love you very much. Stay safe, America. Stay safe, Christian church. Remember, not everything that, says it, that, that, that screams and says that it's Christian is a true child of God. You heard it here. You know it because the Lord Jesus said it himself. Not all to say, Lord, Lord, will enter in the kingdom of heaven. These maggots don't fear God. They, they, they hate God. They love only one thing, and that's to see the destruction of our country. I, I'm done. I'm, I'm done.